Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. Psalm 27, 3 through 4. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church. It is an honor to have you with us today. If you happen to be visiting with us for the first time, make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a special gift of love to you. For our online viewers all over the world, thank you so much for joining us. We pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. Today is Baptism Sunday, and we'll begin right after service. Come to the water and perform the outward profession of your belief in Yahshua, Jesus, the Christ. Also today, the nursing home ministry will be visiting River Oaks Nursing Home located on East Simcoe Road. Arrive for 145 for prayer. Join us as we bring the gospel to those in nursing home care. We also want to remember and honor all those who have served in the United States Armed Forces in commemoration of Memorial Day. It is a School of the Hebrews Conference Week at Philadelphia. We will still have Monday through Friday noonday prayer. Stop by during your lunch break. A special prayer and worship service will take place on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. in preparation for the School of the Hebrews Washington, D.C. Conference. School of Prayer and the Fire Ministry will be postponed this Thursday due to SOH Conference Week. Get ready to enjoy a night of laughter and Christian music at Kingdom Fun 2K19. Clean comedy and Christian fun on Saturday, June 15th at 7 p.m. at the Cajun Dome Convention Center. Performing live will be PMG, Philadelphia Music Group. Tickets are $25, so find any PMG artist to purchase your tickets. Next Sunday will be a special live Sunday service broadcast from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia Christian Church. Service will begin at 9 a.m. You don't want to miss this historic event. Please join us. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Steve and Paula Saunier are elated to have such academically blessed children. Starting with the youngest, Olivia Saunier, who ended her pre-K year with the Eager Reader Award and the Music Leader for Pre-K, using those gifts and talents the Lord gave her. Then their eldest, Madeline Saunier, not only has been tested and accepted into the Gifted and Talented program, being two standard deviations above the mean for her age, but completed first grade with the following awards. Above Level in Reading Award, Eagle of the Year, second year in a row, Top AR reader in first grade, reading 96,724 words. Second year as top accelerated reader for her entire grade level. Math leadership, top of her class. PE leadership, class leadership. Praise God, praise God, and praise God for their beautiful Hebrew minds. We pray they continue to excel and be lights in their schools. To God be all the glory. Congratulations to Taylor Clay on committing to Colby Community College in Colby, Kansas with a full tuition paid scholarship in wrestling. He hopes to obtain a degree in criminal justice. Good luck, and we love you from Dad, Mom, BJ, and Tyrick. Jared Henry graduated with honors with a 3.8 GPA. He is moving on to the ninth grade. Jared's school, Jehovah Jireh Christian Academy, came in first place Division C for the fourth year. Congratulations, Jared. We are so proud of you. Love Dad, Mom, Jacob, and Chance. P.S. Daddy said he could still beat you with them slippers on. Let's congratulate King Charles, who turned 14 years old on Saturday. And let's also give a happy anniversary to Carlos and Katrina Charles, who will be celebrating 15 years of marriage on Tuesday, May 28th. Happy anniversary. Recruits of the Lafayette Fire Department's Lewis F. Babin Institute of Fire Training entered their graduation ceremony on May 17th. Let's congratulate one of Philly's very own, James C. Parker, who has now been sworn in as an official firefighter for the city of Lafayette. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, 
and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. Congratulations. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. You must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, saints of God, stand to your feet right now. It's worship time.